People wanted a video of um, the solar panel on my truck cap, so here's the video. Uh, this is the solar panel. I mounted it to a uh, uh, quarter inch aluminum bar. It's, it's tied into the rack using uh, yarmulke plates and some bolts and nuts. Good and secure. I've driven on rough roads and it doesn't seem at all loose. It is a little dusty and dirty up here. Probably needs to get washed sooner or later from the pollen. Uh, there's the line that drops down. It goes between the truck cap and the cab. I didn't cut any holes except for in the bottom. And the wire goes down here, runs between the cab and the truck, goes under the truck, and then comes up here where the um, solar controller is. You can see the battery's floating. This, this, this icon shows that the uh, battery's floating, so it's limiting the voltage going to the battery. The solar panel's running. This unit here disconnects all the load if the battery drops below. Um, 12.1 um, volts keep the uh, um, battery from over discharging getting damaged. I have an inverter here. Don't use this inverter back here as much as I used to. I just put on a switch to turn the lights on, but I gotta hit the, I have to hit the remote to turn them on, I think. I have extra lights in the cab here because I always lose stuff when camping. So I like to have extra light. So theoretically, I can turn this on, yeah. So yeah, that's that. Um, I can show you there's power. Wires go back to the truck cap where there's power for the lights and stuff. My GPS recorder and uh, yeah, lights, all that good stuff. Uh, and then up, that's these are the power distribution wires, the big heavy ones that take power back from the uh, battery. And then the battery's up under the hood. Um, I'll pop the hood and show you. This is the accessory battery I use. It stores the power for all the accessories. It, it takes in power both from the solar panel, then also from the alternator. It runs over from the other battery. And it's here, and it works absolutely fine. Works really good now with the solar panel because it gets up to a nice charge all day long. Uh, so that's the system. It's pretty simple. Solar panel. You have a solar controller that you know, makes sure the battery doesn't get overcharged in the cab. And then the loads. Uh, so that's the setup.